Hi everyone, we are doing a collective girly haul today. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say super big and crazy and it's, there's some girly things and then there's some just things that I like. Um, so I'm not sure 100% what I'm going to call this video, but um, I did want to say this is the first video sitting down that I'm filming since like not feeling well. I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, the other videos that I'll probably post before this one are videos that I had started filming and then I got really bad, really sore, and couldn't film. So this one, start to finish, um, I am feeling a lot better. So I'm heading, hopefully, to a good recovery with no surgery. <laughs> so hanging in there. But... I think I'm going to go ahead and start with um, my body lotions and body sprays that I picked up from Victoria's Secret and Pink. Um, they had some new scents. I am a big fan of their scents. Um, I always have been. And I purchased a couple of new ones. Well, a lot of new ones. So, let me grab all these. So, the first ones I'm going to share... Um, these are the two Victoria's Secret ones I have. This one is Pastel Sugar Skies, and I always get a lotion and body spray. I'm not even going to bother spraying this one. This one, I, I sprayed it when I got it, like, in the mail. Not my favorite. This one is Vanilla Orchid Paints Cotton Candy Skies Lavender Musk. Um, not the biggest fan of this, not gonna lie. I was expecting something a little sweeter, um, but it's just not my cup of tea. And then this one, I ordered these, uh, the spray with this one, and it said it would come, like, when it was, like, I guess it was back ordered or something, um, and I still haven't gotten it, and it's past the date that I'm supposed to have gotten it, so I need to reach out to them, but this is Petal Plush Clouds. And this says Puny Sugar Sweetens Bergamot Tea Leaves and then Mimosa um, Flower. Um, I haven't opened this one to smell it yet. I like being able to smell, like, smell the spray um, as well, but the packaging was really pretty. This one was very popular, so um, I don't know if that's why the spray still hasn't came. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. And then on to the pink stuff. Now, this one I feel like has been around for a while or has kept coming in different like packaging. This one is Cocoa Mist. This one is coconut water, jasmine petals, and uh, creamy sandalwood. And this one, um, I actually picked up one for me and then two for my mom. My mom fell in love with a scent that me and Maddie both purchased. Um, one year when we were heading on a cruise, we stopped at a mall in Florida with our free time and we both picked up this wonderful scent. Um, my mom fell in love with it and I gave her my bottle. She purchased one off of like Amazon or something and she's running low. So I ended up picking her up two of these cause these were really similar smelling. Um, and I'll insert a picture of the one that like she has I don't she has my model so I don't I don't even remember what it's called but I'm pretty sure this is very identical and similar and then I also picked up this one for her as well um along for me this one is tropic vanilla this one is coconut flower and chilled vanilla this one smells very good as well this one is one of my favorites um, out of the, like, the new pink line. This is amazing. That perfect mix of vanilla and coconut. It's just, this is a fantastic, like, beachy smell. It smells exactly like a beach vacation. Those good vibes. Amazing. And then, moving on, this is my first favorite. Um, this one is Sparkling Surf. Now this one is coconut water and mandarin pop. This smells like a fresh, clean, like I really like this one. This one, like I said, is like my favorite. 
This one is just a nice, fresh, clean scent with that, that little pop of coconut. I really, really like this one. So that is that one. Um, the other two I'm still kind of iffy on. This one is Pink Beach. This one is Sunkissed Coconut and Juicy Papaya. Um, not, not the biggest fan of this one. Um, honestly, I might give this one to Sadie. Um, or see if my mom or Maddie even wants this one. It's okay, but I definitely prefer the other two from Pink. And then the last one is Coconut Sun. This one is Toasted Coconut and Sunny Vanilla. Um, this one smells a little bit different than the other, like, Tropic Vanilla. This one, you can definitely taste. Don't taste it. Definitely, I don't even know. Like, they smell kind of similar, but in this, I feel like you can definitely, like, the vanilla and the coconut, definitely a little bit different on that one. I feel like this one's a little bit more beachy and, like, sweet smelling. I don't know. But this one's not bad. It's, it's not bad. Not my favorite, but I'll definitely wear it. Um, maybe I'll take it to the beach with me this summer. Um, all right. That's those moving on to, I think truly beauty. So from truly beauty, I wanted to give their products a try. I've heard a lot of great things. Um, so I picked up this like little cake maker mini. Um, this says tightening butt and leg polish. It smells pretty good. Um, these jars are really nice, but I just wanted to give this a try. And then I also picked up the matching leg serum or butt and leg serum. Um, this is in a full size, um, bottle. They didn't have a mini, but I like being able to try like products when they're supposed to go together, together. Um, and then this little set, I had to pick up this is a little cake server um, but for your products I thought that was so cute considering our, I got the cake thing but then also look at this little ice cream scoop this is gonna be so cute and I'm gonna have such a fun like little spa day I'm hands out excited but then the glazed donut like after I think it's aftershave oil that they have is very popular and they launched a new part of their glazed donut line this is the facial serum and this is the facial glow cream and I am so excited to try this you guys this sold out on their website um it did get restocked I do not know if it's still like available right now um, if it is, I can link it. I purchased mine off of Ulta Beauty just because at the time I didn't know if Truly Beauty would restock anytime soon and I didn't want Ulta to run out. So I picked mine up from there, but yeah, I am very excited to try those. And then from Target, I, I picked up a loofah. <laughs> um, and then this really cute little honey bear jar. This was $5.00. I thought this was so freaking cute and I thought it would look cute next to my little Keurig. So I got this cutie. And then moving on to this, I bought a scrunchie off of Etsy. This is to go with the next thing I'm showing you guys. But I thought this was really cute just because I gotta match my outfits. You guys know that. So I picked up an outfit from a workout outfit from Astoria. Never heard of the brand before, but look how cute you guys. How adorable. I love this top. And then of course I had to get matching bottoms. I'm I don't know how I will love these shorts because they have like a little ruched bum right there. But, oh my gosh, they're so cute. 
they look very tiny, but I will hold some high hopes for them. But oh, I just love this print. I think it is so cute. It's so girly and perfect for spring. So I'm very excited. And I think the scrunchie is just going to look cute as well. All right, moving on. Let's do... Um, I picked up two things from Anthropology. I guess I can do those first. Let's see if I can get this opened really quick. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I suck at opening packaging. But I got this cute little duo of Butter London nail polishes. Um, the set is called Let Them Eat Cake. But I really wanted this light pink color. This one is called piece of cake and then the glittery one is called all you need is love but I thought that was super cute and then the packaging with all the sprinkles of course adorable and then I also picked up this little I had to put it in a baggie because this was very like potent I thought that this would come in a like better packaging to wear like I don't know this is very very potent of a smell um but it's just like a little like spongy like loofah thing um this says love always a bulgarian rose body wash infused buffer but i thought it was cute but I mean, it definitely smells like flour. It smells good, but it's very, a very strong scent, like I said. So I had to stick it in a baggie. And you could still smell this, um, which I mean is a good thing, but, you know. Um, on with, I guess, goodies like that, I did go to TJ Maxx, and I found some more creme shop masks. I found these, which is Piglet No Fears Deers. I thought this was cute. There are three of these for $4.99. And then I found Eeyore. Um, Eeyore, it's a good day. Um, his is blueberry. So his was also $4.99 for three of them. And then I found this pack. Actually, my mom all did. Um, and I'm going to put these away for Sadie's birthday. Um, but these were $5.99, but these are the Hello Kitty, like, celebrate, um, ones. She will love these. And this was honestly the only pack of, like, creme shop Hello Kitty that was at my TJ Maxx. So, a little weird, but I still think I hit a nice little jackpot. So, that is that. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys what I picked up at Sephora. Sorry about all the different like clips guys. I'm trying to like move stuff out of the way and then also going and checking on Elliot. But from Sephora, I only picked up two things. I picked up the Huda, Huda Beauty, let's try that again, um, powder in the shade Cupcake. Love this powder. So I had to pick up a new one. And then I finally got my hands on this perfume, which I have wanted. This is the Daisy Love Jacobs Paradise. And you guys, I am so excited that I have this perfume. It smells so lovely. The bottle is just beautiful. This is my new favorite fragrance. And I cannot wait to wear this. <sighs> to the point where I feel like I'm gonna wear this so much this spring and summer that I feel like I need to stock up and buy another one before they're gone because this is a limited edition scent so yeah but I am so excited about this oh I cannot wait to wear it this is so beautiful oh I'm so excited hi sweet boy oh he, he just comes and he's been taking these off my floor and he goes and takes them and rolls them down the coffee table. He's just been casually coming in here. Okay. Um, I guess I'll move on to Shein. I don't have much to show from there, 
I picked up two tumblers. Um, I picked up, now these are random, so I should say I picked up, but I did get a nice gray color. I love gray, I can't go wrong with gray. They do come with a straw, so I do have those very very pretty of course it looks like a starbucks cup but these were really inexpensive and i love my tumbler cups so i did get that one and then i was this is the one that i really wanted so i'm glad that i got it this purple color look how pretty this is i think this will be stunning for spring and summer i just i love this purple color so very excited about that and like I said comes with a straw and then I got a couple of like little mini things which are like falling all over the place I got these really cute little like heart sponges I thought these were really cute so I'm gonna give these a try and then I did get a little straw like brush cleaner thing for those tumbler cups i'm trying to like divide my trash okay are these not going to want to open i got two of these which sadie took one but i'll show you guys it's a cute little cloud straw topper but yeah sadie took one already which is okay, but look how cute, it's a little cloud. So got that. Then I did pick these up. I think I'm gonna give these to Sadie. They were like a dollar, so I figured she would like them, but they look like little Mickey, um, like ice cream keychains. So I thought she would like those. And then I did pick up a pair of earrings, but these are really tiny. I might just have to insert a picture just because I cannot, I can't open this stuff. I don't know why I have such a hard time struggling opening the packaging. Yeah, hang on a second. Okay, so I did get them opened. So I got these cute little hearts. Again, I can insert a bigger picture. And then I got these. These are so pretty. I've been wanting a pair of like rose teardrop earrings for a while very pretty and then I also got these earrings which if I can get them untwisted I love when earrings like dangly earrings are lightweight okay well and I love when they won't you know come undone for me there we go so just very cute like little daisies this one's having a day but you know you get the gist so very cute they'll be very pretty and lightweight but I think they are gorgeous I got this little notepad for Sadie um just cute little clouds with a to-do list she loves making lists like her mother <sighs> this I bought for me but honestly Sadie will probably take off with this too this this one was meant for mom um, the Mickey ones are for Sadie, but it's a cute little Frappuccino keychain. I thought this was really cute for my keys. Little straw and sprinkles in there. Cute thing that ended up in my cart. Along with this, um, this is like just an AirPod holder, but it is a donut and I love my donuts. So had to have that. And then the last two things, I got a cute new pair of slippers very very cute very soft i love the tie-dye and the white so i have those to wear along with a new pair of pjs which i've been needing which i just opened these so but yeah just a cute pair they are shorts and then they had the matching top somewhere here we go but yeah just donuts all freaking cute love them so that is that and then next I have to show you is Timu or I think that's how you pronounce it maybe um but that is the last stuff that I have to show you guys 
and then yeah that's it okay so starting off with another little knickknack I thought this was adorable <laughs> had to have it I don't know why I felt the need that I needed so many keychains but I needed this um and then this is something totally random this is for Sadie's bathroom it's a cute little panda but like it, you put it on the bottom of your toothbrush tube or toothpaste tube so got that for Sadie it bought me some gorgeous makeup brushes now this is my first time ordering from these um or this website so I didn't know how you know quality and everything would be but these are gorgeous let me just pull one out like look at that that's beautiful I'm going to feel like a princess doing my makeup and these are very soft by the way and they had different colored brush brush bristles bristles but beautiful um excited about those because I've been needing some new brushes but brushes can get so expensive so I was very very excited about those and then another thing this was for Elliot and I was going to save this for his birthday or Easter but I gave it to him already um and I actually grabbed it while I um was opening my stuff but this is absolutely amazing I saw a comment that said her autistic child really enjoyed this now Elliot um has a regular you know you know the original like ring stackers from like Fisher Price he he doesn't really mess with it a whole bunch and when I like took this out this really caught his attention and he was actually wanting to stack this so that is what this was so exciting elliot loves things that spin and they literally just so as you stack them just like the a ring stacker but they spin elliot played with this for a full straight like 20 minutes trying to stack this as soon as i opened it this is probably one of the best things I've ever purchased. So I'm very pleased with this, very happy. And I had never seen anything like that in a store. So I was very excited about that. And then two other things and that's it. Everything's falling over and I got plastic everywhere. I bought this book bag for when we go on vacation. I loved this. I thought this was so cute. I loved the mauvey pink color, but then I also loved how it was just sequined down at the bottom. So freaking pretty and just a nice bag to have for if I go on a trip anywhere, um, you know, etc. If I go to stay anywhere, end up at the hospital again, who knows? But then this one, I'm so excited for. I fell in love with a bag just like this off of Etsy and it was like $60. And I have to say, this one was like 10. And I think it'll be perfect for when we go to Disney. Look how cute. Oh, I'm in love with this. I was so excited about this purchase as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute. Oh, I'm so excited and sorry you guys can hear Elliot. He's playing with his little um, ukulele or guitar. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about this. Oh, yeah. So um, now that I've experienced um, that website, is it Timu? I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Um, once, since I've experienced it and I love everything, I'm very excited to get back on there and see what all other goodies I can find. So yeah, but that is it for today's video. I hope it wasn't too choppy for you guys. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.